All right, all right, all right, Aries, keep it there, please. It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpio, right? Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time to let you guys know what the energy surrounding you for the month of March 2021. Baby, we are here to have fun. Shout out to all my OGs, shout out to all my newbies and Every last one of you guys who have liked, shared, clicked, and subscribed to this video. If there's anyone that is looking to book a personal private reading, or if you just want to send me a message of some love on a personal level, go ahead and click the description box of this video or click the about tab on my YouTube page. It gives the pricing list, um, the various ways to connect with me. If these videos resonate and you want to send some love, some support to the page, and love offering in any type of way um have it be cash donations to the page or if you just want to check out the amazon wish list to you know send some you know equipment or whatever i have some nail polish to keep my nails fly as i'm recording uh, uh some decks like i don't know a pen whatever the heck is on there um so y'all just check those links out and again thank you guys for all of the support um we are going to give, like we always do, acknowledgement and praise and just gracious thanks to Father God, the creator, the universe, whatever it is that you want to call him or whatever, you know, he goes by in your dimension. So, Father God, today we're going to come here to give you just, you know, awareness and thanks. So, bow your head with me. Father God, we thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Aries. We want to keep all the blessings right there in close proximity to our reach, Father God. We're just so thankful for, you know, you just moving mountains for us and, you know, bringing in those dark clouds to let it rain on our terrain a little bit because, Lord, it don't rain forever. I'm going to tell you that. And once that sun started coming out, Father God, and, you know, we got all that nourishment all up in our soil, all up in our foundations and it reached out to those roots father when stuff started growing in our life we forgot all about those rain showers we forgot all about those rainy days where we had to sit inside and actually when we sat aside father god we got to spend some time to ourselves. we got to nurture ourselves. we got to meditate and just you know get down to the root of what we really want and who we really are so like now that the sun is coming out father god we see the growth we see the hope father god and we're just so thankful we're so covered we're so happy father god we're in the correct placement so we just thank you so much for you know that footing we thank you so much for the stability that you place in our life we understand every single thing and we're just appreciating the sunshine and the rainbows right now so father god give us guidance for the sign of aries for march 2021 we're here to have fun father god so bless it and bless it be give us the guidance that we've you know come here to receive in the name of jesus amen amen and amen shalala hello all right all right now Hmm. So, I had to take me a little sip. So, today we are going to be using the wonderful tea leaf cards. Y'all know that y'all love these cards. So, I'm going to get three on this side and three on this side. And we're going to see what the energy is flowing for you guys for my lovely Aries for March. Oh, we got the horseshoe. We got the good luck horseshoe. I like that, y'all. I like that. Okay. We got the tree, affairs with your family. Okay, your family tree. And what is this? A broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Hmm. So it looks like you guys have good luck coming in some adventures, but... In regard, I, I feel like this this broken bridge has something to do with your family. I feel like this has something to do with your family. You're very lucky, but in some circumstances, it has to do with your family affairs as an unsuccessful outcome to a problem that has something to do with family. And we're going to figure that out for sure. And I definitely want to figure out what you're so lucky about. What happened? Huh. Very interesting. Let's see what we get over here with this pile. Give me three. 
Okay, you got the wedge. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something that you want. Mmm. A broken bridge. Affairs with your family. Someone's trying to cause a wedge. Hmm. Two more cards, please. You got the owl. It says, good advice from a wise person. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. Okay. And an eagle triumph over troubles and obstacles. Okay, so listen. There's someone here. I see I see exactly what's going on. So there's good things coming into your life right now, Aries. There's a lot of blessings coming into your life. Things are turning up for you. And like I said, you got the lucky horseshoe. Right? There's someone trying to cause an issue between your family members. I don't know if this is with a brother. I feel like this has something to do with like a mother, sister, brother. I don't even want to say it's a cousin. It's like someone on the outside, on the outskirts, is trying to put a wedge in between the affairs that's going on with your family. There's somebody outside looking in that is giving you wise counsel. That's giving you wise counsel. And I'm trying to tell you that trying to say to soar above the bullshit. Because I feel like you see what the fuck they're doing. And you know what they're doing. It's like they're trying to cause a wedge between you and your family and your friends. Someone is trying to cause a rift. And I feel like this is some type of friend. It's some type of friend or someone is outside of your family. They may feel like they're family, but they're not. And they've broken this bridge with you. They can't. It's like this. This. They. They. They broken the bridge. The bridge cannot be traveled upon anymore. Like they broken this bridge because now I feel like they caused a rift between you and someone that means something to you. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something that you want. You a friend or something that you want. I definitely feel family too. Triumph over trouble and obstacles. Fly above. I, I'm really getting like don't even respond to this. I'm truly getting like don't even respond to whatever it is. Let's continue to see what else we got going on Aries. I'm about to get all of the oracles out of the way and then we're going to go into the top. Give me some guidance here for Aries for... March 2001. I said 2001, 2021. Parenting. <laughs> Parenting. Interesting. Mm. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just. Being urgent to tell you, so what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Because this, this right here, all of this orange, this solar plexus, it's like, what are you going to do? What are you going to say? What are you going to do? And what are you going to, and how are you going to communicate that? Give me one more. Aries. Adventure. Parenting and adventure. What are you going to do and what are you going to say? Like, it's something about someone having to choose wisely their communication. And that's why you got to really figure out, like, what are you going to do to just kind of, like, bring everything out on the table. Um, a lot of this... This blue energy here, it's just, I feel like you guys really want some type of tranquil, tranquil peace in regards to your family tree. Like, your family tree. Why do I feel like someone is, I feel like someone is trying to cause some type of discord or uproar in regards to your family. And whatever the fuck they're doing, they're trying to 
cause an issue. And if there's something, if in the parenting thing, if there's something that you need to come out and say, you just need to come out and say it and lay it to rest and let it be done. And so you could forever hold your peace on that. It's, it, I don't know why I'm feeling like the ball is in your court. Either you say it or they going to say it. Or they going to keep talking. It's like I don't know why I feel like it's somebody keep talking about someone's parent. Either the parents or the parenting or something. And there's an elder trying to tell you you see what they're doing to fly above it. Like soar above it. Like soar above it and you communicate what it is that you need to communicate. I want to say that there could be someone that may have been going through some type of crazy adventure in regards to the parenting. And I don't know why I'm saying the parentship, like between the parents, who are the parents, what are the parents, what is considered a parent. Like, I don't know why I'm getting that there. I don't know why I'm getting that there. Um, I feel like I need to go over here because I looked at this dad. This is more of like a, a type of. I love that. Um, I'm not really getting the love angle here, but I just I'm really urged to go over here. Give me guidance about what's going on with this parenting, because I really do feel like this deck will give me some guidance here. Okay, so you got the hat in the reverse so it's saying that the roles are changing in regards to this parenting situation and then you got the rainstorm the melancholy in the reverse so it looks like there's been some type of role reversal here whoever was the main parent in the beginning is kind of being the secondary in um in command do you understand there's been some type of role reversal so if Say like the mother had the, the, the child full time and the father just came over um, every now and, and again just on their visitation or something. I feel like the roles have been changed and the roles have been reversed and the mother may be taking a break to study at school or to, to focus on them and the father may be taking that parenting hat on full time. And this may be an adventure for you. And I feel if it's something that you need to say, I feel like you need to just come out and say it about it. Um, because something is about to change in, in regards to in this melancholy with this rainstorm right here. I feel like someone's life has been kind of dull, melodramatic, boring. It's like this is someone where it really wasn't nothing going on where you had to kind of like cause chaos and drama for there to be like a spike of energy like this is someone that their real rainstorm to them is like their life was boring it wasn't nothing going on there was no adventure there was no like frequency of happiness it was just dull born and just blah and just drab now that you got to take care of this child full time oh honey you about to go on a full on goddamn adventure you can't say that your life is dull and boring no more because now you about to become a full time parent you're about to become a full time parent and I don't know if this is something that you know yet I don't know if I feel like this is something that someone's known, but the hat in the rose is about to change for somebody, but that's still not telling me what this other person's role is in, in, in this and why they're trying to cause a wedge. It's like, I feel like there's some type of information here that is being kept um, that someone doesn't know because otherwise... What was the broken the broken bridge in the wedge and the older person, the elder telling you to soar above this and you'll triumph. Just, you know, keep your hat straight on your head and just just buckle your, your seatbelt and, and tighten up your boots because you about to go on an adventure, sweetie. Just go ahead and like I, I feel like someone it's like full time parenting. The three of swords. Oh my goodness. Okay. You got the three of swords, you got the world, you got the hermit, and then you got the three of discs. I felt like this was what was going on. So, hold on. Hey, you guys, I'm recording. All right. I'm sorry, y'all, if y'all hear my kids in the background. So, 
basically what I feel like is going here. Someone's world is changing because I want to say that there could have been like a third party affair here where I don't know if a child was produced out of this because you definitely have parent here and you have the adventure. I don't know if this is like a child that was created out of like some type of marital affair or something that someone doesn't know about. Whatever it is, this information is going to hurt an individual. However, like there's a chapter in someone's life that is ended, that is closed. It's time to move forward and travel to the correct placement in their life. So no matter what anybody else is think, like to me, the world has to do with responsibility. It has to do with learning. It has to do with stages in your life. Do you understand what I'm saying? So like it's more to what meets the eye, no matter how this child or this situation may have came about. Certain things in your life are having to come to a close and they're having to be completed. And it's time for someone to grow up. It's time for some, the roles are being switched. The roles are being reversed. So, so whereas though you might not have had a full-time responsibility, you're definitely going to have one now. I don't feel like it was your responsibility before, but this role is changing. To me, the world represents changing. It represents growth. It represents new stages. It represents traveling. Okay? So, again, I don't know if there is something that is going on in the dark that someone needs to come out and tell. There could be someone. And, again, I feel like maybe because this person had nothing to do, did not have any responsibility, had too much time on their hands, did not have a full-time role as a parent or... I honestly just didn't have any responsibilities or something like that. Maybe someone was looking for some type of excitement because things were melancholy and drab. Things were like boring or you weren't satisfied at home. Someone could have went out there and especially if you didn't have nothing to do. If you didn't have if you didn't have a role in life, if you felt like you didn't have a position. And to me, this means work to me. Because you see the three of pentacles right here in the hermit in the reverse. So the hermit in the reverse, so that means to me, like, listen, you done had your time to think about it. You done been within yourself where, where you know what you need, you know what you need to do. You've been Keeping yourself in a self-composed, solitary confinement. I don't know if you just have not been talking to people like you normally do. If you've just been staying to yourself. You've been keeping yourself locked away and secluded in a closet. Just because you want some time to just be by your lonesome and go through whatever it is that you need to process and go through. However, I definitely feel like there was some type of third party affair. There was. And it could have it could have produced a child here with this parenting. Could have. And I definitely feel like the broken bridge here has to do with some friend, some family, some somebody. I feel like things were going good. I feel like things were going good. And now things are not working again. The three of Three of Pentacles in reverse is either unemployment or someone trying to put energy into something that ain't fucking working. It don't matter how many people that you try to get into the situation to help you. Ain't nothing going to help it. It's a failed opportunity. It is just like, listen, or whoever you trying to work with or whoever's trying to work with you, they're hard of hearing. They're hard of understanding. It's like you're trying to explain ABCs and one, two, threes to a fucking dunce to someone that does not want to understand. You know what I'm saying? It's like talking to a fucking brick wall. An apprentice that don't want to un <laughs> that don't want to learn the gift or the talents and the tricks of the trade. You need to find somebody else for the position. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I feel like someone needs to just come out with it. What's this at this person's feet? Why does it look like mushrooms around this person's feet? It does look like mushroom. Yo, am I tripping? Don't it look like mushrooms at the bottom of this woman's feet? Like athlete's foot. Like to me, that's like athlete's foot or some shit like that. What? 
to me, like the hermit in the upright, if you, you see how she's like searching inside. She's trying to see the light. She's trying to see the bigger picture of what she wants her life to be. In a reverse, it's Ava. You've been in there too long to think about this. You already have some understanding, so stop being a pussy and come out from inside. Come outdoors and make use of this information that you know what you need to do. Or as someone that I don't know where I'm getting athlete's foot. It's like your footing is fucked up. It's like your footing is like tainted or it's like infected or it's like I don't know why I'm getting like some type of foot infection. It's like everywhere you walk, it's like suddenly it's like spores. It's like other people cuz if you ever took a shower behind someone like, you can't, like, that's why they say, like, I, I'm scared of going in pools and, and going into, like, their little um, shower area and stuff. I always wear shower shoes and stuff because you cannot have your bare feet on. It's nasty. It's like if you're walking behind someone with infected footing, like, you can pick up that infection. Like, you can get it, too. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know why I'm getting this. I'm I, I, I'm getting like someone like I don't know if the tub looked clean or you didn't think you had to wash the tub or something like that but someone went and took a shower right behind someone who had athletes foot and then, they, then their foot started itching too it's like they gave it to you because it's like you came in the shower right after them so your foot ended up picking picking it up too it's like a fucked up someone else's footing It's like someone's inability to take care of their self is fucking up somebody else's footing. And again, it's like this person's... Because um, to me, the three of swords represents indecisiveness too. It's like you don't know... You don't have permanent thinking. You know what I'm saying? You don't know exactly what you want to do. You over here four times, then you over there, then you over here by yourself, and then you jump back over there again, then you come over here, and then you go over there, and then you come back. It's like you don't know what you want to do. And it's like you're hurting everybody involved because of your own indecisiveness. You know what I'm saying? And it's like things need to change. Someone needs to grow up. You need to take the world in your own hand and like take some responsibility for your actions. And I don't know why I'm feeling like someone created a child here. But I definitely feel like someone because it has something to do with your, 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 your family here. With your family tree. Unsuccessful outcome. And it has something to do with affairs with your family. And I feel like it's someone telling you what you ought to do. Because there's a wedge being created here. And your role needs to change. And you've had enough time to sit down and think on what you need to do. And step out and say it. And not only just say it, but do something about it. But it's like, either this person does not know how to make it work doesn't want to try to make it work because the three of pentacles to me is also someone that doesn't want to work you know what i'm saying it's like i'm choosing to keep myself solid to the side because i don't want to work you know what i'm saying i'd rather other people take care of me i'd rather someone show me how to do it instead of me learn on my own it's something like that it's like someone Someone was taking their time to grow up and account for the responsibilities of what they were supposed to do to make things work. Give me more guidance. What is this? You got the extra joker. Okay, so that was, to me, that's like, it's like, are you an extra fool? It's like an extra fool. And I'm not necessarily taking this shit in a good way. I'm taking it in a bad way for some reason. Um, 
Because the red, the red to me, it gives off bad energy. I'd rather have a black joker than a red joker. Because a black joker just be on some chill shit. Like a red joker be fiery, be argumentative, can be an asshole, wants to fight with people, um, doesn't believe in anything, doesn't believe in their self. It's just like the temperament sucks. Like the black joker to me is someone that it's like the black joker is someone that is more grounded, more solid, um, has more basis with them. This joker, one minute they're like this, and one minute they're like that. One minute they're happy, one minute they're sad. One minute they're satisfied, one minute they're dissatisfied. It's like you never, you kind of never know how to take this energy here. Um, you never really know how to take this energy. And right here with this hermit in the reverse, it's like this person is trying to, I want to say use the excuse of, well, I need to take some more time to get myself together. Just have a little extra faith in me or whatever. Like, I'm going to get a job eventually. I'm, I'm like, once I get myself together, like, I'm going to get a job and I'm going to work and this, this, and that. And it's like, I feel like this person wants people to have extra faith in them. I don't know why I feel like someone was not doing what they were supposed to be doing. I feel like there was someone that was not supposed to be doing what they were supposed to be doing and was setting an extra bad example, not only for their self, but for their child. Like they really were not doing what they were supposed to do. And the responsibility, the roles got switched. I want to, I, I want to say it's like someone forced to be a parent because they dropped the responsibility off on you, you go on that adventure by yourself because I feel like it's a family member, a friend, a colleague, or someone got into someone's head and made them feel like you shouldn't do this on your own because I I feel like it was someone that was doing every doing the brunt of everything by herself. Like there was someone that was not wearing this hat. You gotta wear it now. You gotta wear it now. Sorry, it's time for you to grow the fuck up. It's about time for you to tell your girlfriend or whoever the fuck how this child came about. Like I don't give a fuck. This your responsibility. I really feel like that. And I feel like some people are not friends anymore because of this. I really do. I really do. And it's like someone wants someone to have extra faith that they're going to do what they're supposed to do and get a job and be responsible. But this person is just is not. Because remember, I was saying like with this melancholy, the rainstorms. This person was bored with their life because you don't work. You're not doing anything with the hermit in the reverse. This is someone to just sit in the house all day and don't do shit with their life. To just sit in there thinking and be telling people, oh, no, I'm getting myself together. I'm trying to get myself better. No, you're not. You're not trying to do shit. You just want to put extra fluff on this shit because you want extra pe You want people to believe your bullshit. I, I don't like I don't like the red energy all of the time. I don't like this shit. And I'll tell you if it's something that I'm feeling cool with and if it's something I'm not feeling cool with. I feel like and again, remember when this first came out, it was like, well, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna say? Cause you don't have no choice. Look, you see the trip you see the double fives? You don't have no choice but to go through this adventure. You don't have no fucking choice. You don't have no choice. Like, this is forced change. This is forced communication. You got to tell people. And then right at the bottom of the deck, you see the lightning. And it's six of clubs. So the six of clubs, that means to me, that's like someone having like a successful... It's like excess, a successful transfer. And then you got the, the fish and the four hearts. Okay, so... The fish means like success in financing, like 
things are going upstream. The four of hearts represents, um, so I, I don't know if someone was having sex with someone for money. Because the four of hearts represents like love making. Like what what could would have created the baby? It means the four posts of a bed. You know what I'm saying? It means sex, intimacy. The fish represents wealth, money, prominence, stability. So and then over here with this three, I feel like there was someone that someone was being slept with and dealt with for financial means. It says the fish is an emblem of riches throughout stocks but if distance it foretells failure and disaster this is at the tail end of this thing so it's like mm -mm. do I want to take one more give me give me one more you don't got nothing else to say so listen and let me read y'all the four of uh four of hearts real quick. The four of hearts represents emotional stability, partnership, marriage, four posts of a marriage bed, physical union, sexual contract, a relationship between two people, the return of a lover, mending of a broken friendship, party, having fun, the bed, the sofa, a comfortable chair. So again, and like I said, the fish represents money and means riches. What does it say? It's emotional stability, partnership, a sexual union. It don't say nothing about love. It don't say nothing about love. Partying, having fun, the bed, a sofa, a comfortable chair. It was a comfortable situation. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? It was a comfortable situation. I definitely feel like someone is possibly going to be hurt here. Finding out that someone was cheating on them. And again, fish represents babies. You know, when they, like the old people say, you know, when you um, dream about fish, it represents like new birth and everything like that. So, like, and y'all know fish in tarot represents new birth and new, you know. So again, it could have been like someone just sleeping with someone just because they were bored. They were bored. I want to say they had no position. They had no role. They had nothing to do. Only thing they did was sit in the house and sort of they did had nothing to do, no business. You got business now. Cause now you 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 got and especially since like if you haven't been doing anything, if this person hasn't been doing anything. And then they're finally getting luck and things that seem to be coming. Oh, yeah. Well, you need to come and take this child then. <laughs> well, you need to come and take this child then. Because you ain't been in this role. It's time for you to do. It's time for your role to change. It's time for your role to change. And again, I feel like it's it's time for someone to really see what the fuck was going on. Because I want to say that there's been some information hidden. And someone knows about it. And someone's been running their mouth. Someone's been running their mouth. And again, someone has been trying to come between you and said person. I don't know if it was a friend that was trying to get in the head of your baby father or your baby mother or whoever it is that switched these roles up and dropped the responsibility off on you. That's why you going on this adventure because you ain't had no you ain't had no business before. You got a whole lot of it now. So I don't know what you've been taking your time pussyfooting in, getting a job, getting yourself together, figuring out what you need to do with your life, but you better figure it out fast because listen. Whoever it is that got it to your baby mama, your baby father, whoever ear. Because things been looking like they've been going good for you were good. It's time for you to take up some of this responsibility and, and it's time for you. It's time for you to become a parent. Bottom line. Let's get yo. Then you got the anchor. I'm trying to tell you. And then you got the motherfucking mail. I'm trying to tell you. So listen, you got the anchor. I'm not reading this in the reverse. And then you got the male energy here. You got the anchor and you got the male energy. So what that is basically trying to say is like, listen, I need security. I need security. 
I need security. I need you to show up more. I need you to be more visible. I need to see more honor and respect coming on the table in regards to um, your footing in this situation. Because, again, I feel like with this anchor being in the reverse, it was no security with this man being in this child's life. I need security. I need to know that you're not going nowhere, that you're not just floating all over the goddamn place because I want this has to do with the paternity and parenting. This has to do with paternity and parenting, and this shit has been a venture. The shit needs to come to light. You, what you gonna do? What you gonna say? Because I, I, I feel like this was something that was created around a third party. It has something to do. This shit was done outside of a relationship. It was done on the outside. It was either done at work, around work time, while somebody else was working, and the other person was working, what, whatever. Whatever. But at the end of the day, enough thinking about it. What you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? If you don't do something about it, whoever this is that's trying to create this wedge, they're going to do it for you. And whereas though you had the choice to not have a role before, you ain't got no choice now. So I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. In the nine of spades, let me tell you, the nine of spades represents destruction and horror in somebody's life. That is when somebody is having to face the reality that you have. Listen, this is just everything has been ruined. Everything has been destroyed. Everything has been ruined. Everything has been destroyed. Let me tell you, the nine of spades. Nine of spades is not a good card, my nigga. I'm trying to tell you. I'm sorry for all of the noise and uh, disruptions. The Nine of Spades traditionally a card of sadness, adversity, failure, suffering, emotional or physical pain, grief, malice. This is a very unfavorable card. It embodies tragic events including accidents, serious injury, illness, self-injury or harm to oneself or another. Feeling pressured or forced to do something. Remember we talking about parenting? Child. It can indicate loss of control, a breakdown of established patterns. Remember, someone was kind of just being okay with, with someone not working, someone not doing shit, not really being there on a full-time basis. Listen, a breakdown of established patterns. It could represent disappointment or a broken heart. Karmic debts, obligations, and duties to self or others. Remember, what are we talking about? The father not being there, not work, look, staying in the house, not working, listen, being with someone else, all of this shit. Rock the boat, don't rock the boat, baby. Rock the boat, don't tip the boat over. Rock the boat. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to tell you, somebody is about, baby girl about to rock the boat. About to rock the boat. And then the ace of spades represents, listen, death and new beginning. So whatever the fuck you was used to in the beginning, you better get this up. Look, mama got a brand new bag. Da -da 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 -da. Mama got a brand new bag now. She all the way in her bag. So listen, I don't know what the hell you been used to up in that kitchen, but you better get your ass up and cook your own goddamn dinner, bitch, because she ain't doing it for you no more. So listen, Tuh. this is it. Aries, listen, and if this is an Aries woman hanging her foot up some man's ass because he ain't been a goddamn parent like he should have been doing, shots out to you, baby girl. Hang your foot all the way up his motherfucking ass, girl. Make sure that that motherfucker do his part. Okay, hello, bitch, we reloaded. Boom, I'm up out of here, Aries. Y'all hit that like button. Peace.